Remember or not? We were here. Check with your. Yes. Sir. Check with your bundle. If I'm not wrong, we were here. Then we have to start with the equal cycle. I didn't know uh, that uh, I have explained this one or not. That's what I wanted to say. As at the end of the class, I note it down. Every time I note down that what we did in last class. So as per my record, we were here. Oh, okay, Shridika is there. She might be. Hello, Siddhika. Martin, are you checking with your uh, uh, notebook? Yes, sir. Yeah. Siddhika, my guess is still not connected. Martin, and let me know that did I explain this one or not? Dictated, it's uh, I, I have. No, no, I think you're gonna start this one. I think you're gonna I have explained this one that I know, but did I uh dictate it or not? That's what I want. I think you dictated this one. You think that I have dictated this one? All these three steps. Mm. Hmm? Mm. Yeah, I, right. Okay, you have written it. Yeah, I think yeah. Okay, fine. So let me remind it again and uh, let me revise it again, recap, and then we'll go to the next step, right? What happened with the Siddhika? This is not corrected. Hello, Siddhika. Uh, her mic is not corrected. Oh. Look. <clears throat> so this was a T3 cycle, or we call it a uh, dark creation, right? So, what I mean, she, uh, we studied that photosynthesis have been divided in two parts. The complete reaction have been divided in two parts. The first part was photolysis of water, means breakdown of the water. We call that light reaction because that reaction or that part of the reaction takes place in presence of light. The second part, without light, that reaction do not take place. Means photosynthesis, photolysis won't take place. The second part was that Siddhika, hello, Elam, hello Elam, am I audible to you? Hello sir, hello sir. Elam, uh, uh, was you there in last class? I think you was in last class. Uh, yes, sir, I was there in last class. Okay, so what I want to check that uh, you have to check with your uh, textbook that uh, sorry notebook you have to check with your notebook that uh, did I explain it or not? Have you have you jot down it uh, this one all these three step or not carboxylation reduction and regeneration these three, three step of the Calvin cycle because you know why I am uh, uh, emphasizing on that because this is important for your school examination. You'll get the question from this part. No, sir, so, I didn't write this. So, so last class I wasn't there. Thursday. Wait, last class you was not. Shidika, hello. Shidika was there. Martin was there, that I know. Shidika, am I audible to you now? Hello, Shidika. Great. So, Shidika, what I was uh, asking that in the last class, did I explain or dictated this one Calvin cycle or not? We have done with the Calvin cycle that I know, that I have explained the concept that I know, but did I dictate it this one or not? Tell me. Right. Yes. Even. Uh, 
I was in the mind that I haven't dictated it. I have explained it. Right. So quickly, what I will do, I will recap this one. Right. Because you people are already eight to 10 minutes late. Right. So <clears throat> I will uh, recap it quickly and then I will uh, uh, make you uh, to note it down. Right. The points. Fine. Because uh, Calvin cycle is very important. This is there are fair enough chances to uh, uh, to be asked this question in your school examination, right? Uh, so start with the Calvin cycle. First, I will recap for you. Look, Calvin cycle or in C three cycle. This is this part. So I I said uh, that photosynthesis have been divided into two parts. For the study, we have divided the reaction into two parts. The first part is that. The first part is that photolysis of water means breakdown of the water. Breakdown of the water takes place in the presence of light. So we call that light rays, right? That do not take place, uh, take place in absence of light. The second part is called dark rays. Dark reaction takes place in the dark as well as in the light areas, right? It do not require light. That's why we call it dark rays. It doesn't mean that it do not take place in the presence of light or it take place in the absence of light only it's not like that but it do not require light that's why we call it dark reaction and it takes place at the both of the time light is present or not because light is not at all required for this dark reaction means fixation of carbon dioxide what does it mean by fixation of carbon dioxide when i say or one book uh, textbook says that fixation of carbon dioxide it means that they are taking the gaseous form of the carbon dioxide from there, they are taking the carbon atom and converting it into some product or some solid form, right? So every time in this cycle, the carbon, one carbon atom is taken and it is converted into some solid product, right? That is the basically glucose. So when this cycle complete it one cycle, when Calvin cycle complete one turn, it fix one carbon atom, right? Glucose is C6H12O6 means this is a, a six carbon compound, right? It has six atom of carbon. So every time this cycle moves and it fix one carbon atom. So to make a glucose molecule or to fix six carbon atom, it has to complete six times. So when the cycle will go on for six times, then only one glucose molecule formation will take place. Why? Right? Okay. So in this cycle, I told you in the last class that carbon dioxide is taken from environment or atmosphere then <coughs> from carbon dioxide the uh, product which react with the carbon dioxide that is called ribulose biphosphate rubp so rubp is a compound ribulose biphosphate in short we call it rubp it is fixed carbon compound ribulose biphosphate ribulose biphosphate combine or react with the carbon dioxide it received the carbon dioxide. So first question that who is the who is the receiver of carbon dioxide? So here RUBP is the first receiver or acceptor of carbon dioxide, right? This reaction takes place in presence of a uh, enzyme that is called RUBP carboxylase oxygenase. In short, we call it Rubisco. So Rubisco is an enzyme which catalyzes this reaction. For Rubisco, I told you that. Why uh, it is carboxylase oxygenase? It means this reaction, uh, sorry, this enzyme catalyzes the carboxylation as well as oxidation. What does it mean? Look, in place of carbon dioxide, if there will be oxygen, then also reaction will take place and RUBP will catalyze that reaction. Then RUBP will combine with oxygen and make some different product, right? Here, carbon dioxide, so it can do both kind of the reaction or it can catalyze both kind of the reaction, oxygenation or carboxylation. Here, carbon dioxide concentration is more, right? So it will react with carbon dioxide. So RUBP will react with CO2 in presence of Rubisco, right? This part is called carboxylation because addition or attachment of carbon dioxide is taking place. 5 carbon compound, RUBP is 5 carbon compound, here is 1 carbon co compound. Now both will react and they will form a 2 molecule of phosphoglycerate, PGA, short we call PGA, 2 molecule. So this is 3 carbon compound and there are 2 molecules. So 
टू थ्री जा सिक्स तो टोटल सिक्स कार्बन एटम्स आर देयर वन कार्बन फ्रॉम कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फाइव कार्बन फ्रॉम आरियो तो बाय द रिएक्शन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पीजीए टेक्स दिस पीजीए थ्री कार्बन कंपन द फर्स्ट स्टेबल प्रोडक्ट इज थ्री कार्बन कंपन तो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु इज द फर्स्ट रिसीवर ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन सी थ्री साइकिल आरियो बी हु कैटालाइज दिस रिएक्शन रोबिस्को राइट which is the first stable compound that is pga right phospho glycerate right this calvin it was discovered by calvin melvin that's why we call it calvin cycle but why it is called c3 cycle because the first stable compound is three carbon compound that's why we call it c3 cycle is that clear to everyone quickly keep on responding me keep yes, on telling sir. me yeah please thank you so look now what will happen this pga will reduce reduction will take this what is the reduction addition of hydrogen atom right or removal of oxygen so here hydrogen atom is added right two atp will break down into two adp means energy is consumed from where the atp is coming from light rays right two nadph will break down into two nadp plus again the energy will be spent where from where the nadph is coming nadph is coming from the light reaction right now 2 atp and 2 nadp are broken down energy is consumed right and reduction taking place from phosphoglycerate formation of two molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate that is called in short g3p takes place again g3p is also three carbon compound so 3 to ja 6 total 6 carbon atom are present over here now what will happen from here a one carbon atom will go to glucose right from two molecule of g3p glucose uh, one carbon atom will go to glucose now out of six one carbon atom will will be removed from here so what will happen again a five carbon compound formation will take place and that is the glycerol dehyde rebulose phosphate sorry rebulose phosphate rp not biphosphate rebulose phosphate right this is five carbon compound again generation of rebulose phosphate taken place so this is called regeneration again one atp will be spent mean energy will be spent right and uh, the phosphate which arises from this it come out from the atp right whenever atp break down so what happen the reaction is that atp will break down into adp energy is generated and inorganic phosphate is removed and energy is generated right that reaction takes place so look this phosphate so here when atp will break down into adp energy is generated and one more phosphate so here only one phosphate is attached here one more phosphate more, uh, atom will be added and again the formation of rebulose pi phosphate will take place pi means two phosphate molecule here this is only rebulose phosphate so rebulose phosphate formation again taken place that's why we call this regeneration reaction Re rebulose phosphate again regenerated so what is the function of rebulose phosphate it take one carbon from carbon atom and supply this carbon atom or transfer this carbon atom to glucose molecule right that is the is that clear tell me is that clear martin vidika Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, have you noted down this cycle in the last class? This is my humble request. After the class today, either take a screenshot right now. After the class, you have to note down this cycle. Clear? When last class I said, don't make this purple color and yellow color. If you want, if you can, that this is the best thing, right? yeah make that in fact and uh, draw this cycle because whenever you will get the question in your school examination you have to draw this cycle. and there are fair enough chances that they will ask you to draw the cycle again when cycle move in one round two atp two nadph and one atp here is consumed so when the cycle will move for the sixth uh, sixth time so we have multiplied with the six right so 2 ATP into 6, so total 12 ATP will be consumed, right? 2 NADPH means total 12 NADP will be consumed. Again here, 6 ATP will be consumed. 
So six twelve ATP here and six from here. So total twenty eighteen ATP required, right? And six twelve NADPH required, right? So how many molecules are required? NADPH and ATP are required formation of one glucose molecule. Total eighteen ATP and twelve NADPH are required for the formation of one glucose molecule. And I have already explained that one NADPH is equal to three ATP, equal to three. ATP. Okay, so put the heading uh, T3 cycle for Calvin cycle, right? And start noting now. The Calvin cycle, Calvin cycle was the Calvin cycle was discovered by Calvin cycle was discovered by discovered by Calvin Calvin Benson. And and their and their colleague and their colleague in in nineteen fifty five in nineteen fifty five. Full stop. They did experiment. They did experiment in. They did experiment in chlorella, chlorella, and centesma. What are they? Chlorella and centesma. What exactly they are? Chlorella and centesma. What are they? Chlorella, I have already explained you in detail. They did experiment in chlorella and centesmus with the help of, with the help of carbon fourteen. Next point, chlorella and centesmus, they are the green algae. I have already explained you in algae, right? And you people have forgot. Look, uh, Calvin cycle, next point. Calvin cycle occur in all photosynthetic plant. Calvin cycle occur in all Photo synthetic plant. It can be divided. It can be divided into three steps. It can be divided into three steps. First one, carboxylation. First one, carboxylation. You have to write down the answer like in the same way I am explaining you, right? Carboxylation. In this reaction, RUBP in this reaction, RUBP, which is acceptor of, which is acceptor of Carbon dioxide, acceptor of carbon dioxide, react in presence of, in presence of, 
rubisco in presence of rubisco enzyme in presence of rubisco enzyme cholesterol formation of formation of two molecule of pga formation of two molecule of pga takes place pga this one phosphoglycerate or you can call it phosphoglyceric acid right pga that is the type of phospho glyceric acid write down this reaction quickly rubp plus co2 rubisco enzyme 2 pga next step uh reduction reduction right so in reduction reaction what happen this uh, rubp so this pga this pga it make or it get converted into glycerol dehyde three phosphate ep right so in the presence of which nadp plus and adp you can write it down like this way two pga molecule right plus n a d p h plus the how many two n a d p s plus two a t p what will happen formation of glycerol dehyde three phosphate g three p two molecule of g three p will be formed and what will happen n a d p plus will be formed and two n a d p plus will be formed and two a d p will be formed that's what formation takes place and uh, in presence of some enzyme so glycerol dehyde three phosphate uh right on the name of enzyme glycerol dehyde three phosphate dehydrogenase this is the enzyme is formed over here right please note it down it is reaction Note it down. Next, regeneration. So, in regeneration, you can write it down. In regeneration process, two molecule of glycerol dehyde. 
थ्री फॉस्फेट ग्लिसरल डिहाइड थ्री फॉस्फेट ब्रेक्स डाउन ग्लिसरल डिहाइड थ्री फॉस्फेट ब्रेक्स डाउन इन टू इन टू रेबुलोस रेबुलोस फाइव फॉस्फेट प्लस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्लस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड तो दिस कार्बन Uh, this carbon molecule is removed from here and it will combine with uh, combine for the formation of uh, glucose right and again uh, this regulose 5 phosphate the regulose 5 phosphate it will react with atp and formation of regulose 1 pi 5 phosphate plus adp will take right so please note it down so this reaction will take place in presence of phospho ribo kinase enzyme right this is the enzyme. so this is again regeneration will take place so these are the three steps which you have to write it down when you will mention the calvin cycle then only you will get the five out of five tell me if there is any question you please shidika martin and elam tell me if you have any doubt and tell me did you got it or not Kritika, everything clear? Martin, Elam, tell me. Yes, sir. Quickly. Yes. Okay, note it down. Yes, sir. Great. And after the class, you have to note down this cycle. Leave the space for this cycle. Then only the process will complete. Now come to the C four pathway. What is C four path? and uh, before going into c4 pathway i think there should be uh, a, a question crans anatomy uh, what is then let me tell you what is a crans anatomy look so basically uh, i told you that uh, this uh, rubisco is an enzyme which react in presence of oxygen react in presence of carbon dioxide so if the carbon dioxide concentration is more then rubisco react with carbon dioxide if oxygen concentration more it will catalyze the reaction with oxygen right in c3 plant or c3 cycle So wherever the C3 cycle, C3 cycle goes on everywhere. We have noted down this. Experiment. Look, in C3 plant, light and dark reaction takes place in same leaf, right? In same cell. In same cell, light reaction will take place. In same cell, dark reaction will take. There are some other kind of the plant where light reaction take place in some other cell and dark reaction take place in some other cell. 
it means photolysis of water takes place in some other cell and then fixation of carbon dioxide takes place in some other cell those plant in those plant the first stable compound is not three carbon compound that is four carbon compound that's why that cycle is called c4 cycle let me explain for you actually what happened in c4 plant there are two kind of the cell mesophyll cell and bundle seed cell plant anatomy we have studied in detail in the section of plant anatomy part right here what happened in c4 plant in the mesophyll cell what happened the uh, carbon dioxide is received by received by a special kind of the compound that is called phosphoenol pyruvate pep right so phosphoenol pyruvate in c3 cycle who is the first acceptor of carbon dioxide quick quick come on in c3 cycle who is the acceptor of carbon dioxide rubisco very good excellent rubisco is the first uh, uh, this one uh, acceptor of carbon dioxide but in c4 plant rubisco is not the first acceptor of carbon dioxide rather than here is another enzyme that is pp phosphoenol pyruvate this is the first acceptor of carbon dioxide it will receive the carbon dioxide and it will make a stable compound first stable compound that is oa oaa what is oaa oxaloacetic acid or oxaloacetate it will make a first carbon compound first stable compound oxaloacetate oaa or oxaloacetic acid this is a four carbon compound that's why we call it c4 right because because the first stable compound is made up of four carbon so here what happened the uh, carbon dioxide is taken by pp then the c3 cycle goes on inside means rubisco is found and c3 cycle is found in inside the bundle c right so uh, that's how the reaction takes place in two parts is it clear or not yes sir note down this diagram right now this one this diagram mesophyll cell bundle seed cell right these are the xylem plus phloem right in mesophyll cell there is a pp phosphoenol pyruvate and in uh, uh, this bundle seed cell there is a rubisco so there are two enzyme for the carbon dioxide acceptor but which one pp is the first enzyme which is found in mesophyll cell and rubisco is another enzyme carbon dioxide acceptor but that is not first acceptor that is second acceptor that is found in the where but it's note it down or not it let me know when you note it down then sir done very good martin done yeah great so now come to the c4 cycle now half of the part you got it right so look this kind of anatomy which is found in the uh, c4 plant this is called cranger anatomy right so look what happened in cranger anatomy 
so there are a uh, vascular bundle around the vascular bundle there are some some thick cells these are called bundle sheath cells right bundle sheath cells they are impermeable for oxygen and around the bundle sheath cell there are mesophyll cells right in mesophyll cell what happened so look there are two two cells two kind of the cells right first uh, upper time upper side they are the mesophyll cell and this is the bundle sheath cell so in mesophyll cell try to understand i want your 100% focus over here what happened in mesophyll cell carbon dioxide comes there is a uh, enzyme pp phosphoenol pyruvate phosphoenol pyruvate take carbon dioxide pp is three carbon compound right while uh, rubp is the five carbon compound here pp is the three carbon compound pp is first acceptor of carbon dioxide it will receive the uh, carbon dioxide it will make a first stable compound four carbon compound and that is oxaloacetate right oxaloacetate oaa then oxaloacetate will convert into malate this malate will be transported into where this will be transported into bundle sheath cell bundle sheath cells are impermeable to oxygen i have made over here right they are impermeable right impermeable to oxygen right they are impermeable to oxygen and here the malate will break down into carbon dioxide and pyruvate right look pyruvate will again come back pyruvate is three carbon compound it will come back it will spend the atp adp will be converted and pyruvate will again convert into p this cycle will go here it have released malate have break broken down and it have released pyruvate and carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide will be taken by rubisco and c3 cycle will go on so here rubisco is the secondary or second carbon dioxide acceptor in c4 plant and calvin cycle will go on that's how the calvin cycle go on in c4 plant why we call it c4 plant this kind of the anatomy where the uh, two steps are for the fixation of carbon dioxide that c4 cycle go on in mesophyll cell c3 cycle go on in the bundle sheath cell these kind of the plant are called c4 plant and this anatomy is called crange anatomy crange anatomy i have written over here look in crange anatomy crange anatomy uh, this is this c4 cycle is also called hatch and slack pathway right it was it is also called hsk pathway this called by hatch slack and cord sac right this c4 plant are mage sugarcane sorghum they are the c4 plant right they are more important is it clear or not c4 plant c4 cycle hello yes sir is it clear martin yes, elam okay great so what you have to do right now you have to draw this diagram immediately this one this diagram where my cursor is this diagram it is because this this one is more clear this diagram. please draw it quickly hardly it will take two or three minutes or five minutes maximum draw it right and write down the name hsk r h black and cord sac example maize sugarcane and sorghum
Done, sir. Done. Okay, Martin, done. Martin. Hello, Martin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so please start noting down. First, what is cryogenic anatomy? C4 plant. C4 plant live in hot, moist, or C4 plant live in hot, moist, or arid environment. So let's talk. They have Cranj anatomy. They have cranch anatomy. So let's talk. You may get two marker or three marker question. What is cranch anatomy? Right. So there are chances. They sometimes they ask you what is the cranj anatomy. They ask you what is the C3 cycle. What is the C4 cycle? These three questions are very important, most important question of this chapter. <clears throat> The, in cranch anatomy, in cranch anatomy, mesophyll cells are undifferentiated. Mesophyll cells are undifferentiated and vascular bundles and vascular bundles are surrounded by are surrounded by bundle sheath cells bundle sheath cells full stop the mesophyll cells The mesophyll cells and bundle sheath cells, the mesophyll cells and bundle sheath cells are connected by are connected by plasmodesmata. Full stop. Next point, very important. The chloroplast, the chloroplast of mesophyll cells, the chloroplast of mesophyll cells are smaller, are smaller, and have well developed. Grena. Full stop. They also possess PEP enzyme. They also possess PEP enzyme. Next point. The chloroplast, the chloroplast of the chloroplast of bundle sheet cells are larger and do not have do not have grena. They do not have grena, it means light reaction cannot go on. Only dark reaction. So, there are two kinds of chloroplast. A chloroplast is smaller, which are found in bundle sheet, uh, uh, mesophyll, and larger, which are found in bundle sheet cells. So, we, ca we call this phenomena 
डाइमोर्फिक क्लोरोप्लास्ट डाइमोर्फिक क्लोरोप्लास्ट यू कैन राइट इट डाउन सी फोर प्लांट सी फोर प्लांट हैव डाइमोर्फिक क्लोरोप्लास्ट टू टाइप ऑफ वन विच आर फाउंड इन म्यूजिकल सेल एंड अदर विच इज फाउंड इन बॉडी डाइमोर्फिक डाइम इज टू मॉर्फिक मीन्स फिजिकली डिफरेंट मीन्स मॉर्फोलॉजिकली तो बंडल सॉरी दिस क्रैंज आर नॉट अभी क्लियर आर नॉट टेल मी बोथ ऑफ मार्टिन गिलम क्विकली क्रैंज आर नॉट अभी क्लियर आर नॉट यस मार्टिन क्लियर टू यू फाइन नाउ कम टू पुट द एडिंग सी फोर साइकिल फोर साइकिल और साइकिल और हैच स्लैक पाथवे साइकिल और हैच स्लैक पाथवे इट इज कॉल्ड इट इज कॉल्ड सी फोर साइकिल It is called C4 cycle because the first stable compound because the first stable compound is oxaloacetic acid. which is a four carbon compound which is a four carbon compound full stop next one it was discovered by it was discovered by hatch comma slack and cord sack hatch slack and cord sack that's why also called h s a cycle next point mesophyll cell first point mesophyll cell receive co2 pep is the first acceptor pep is the first acceptor of co2 full stop pp a three carbon compound pep a three carbon compound react with co2 and produces oxaloacetate a first stable compound a first stable compound full stop next point oxaloacetate you can write it on o a a o a a oxaloacetate 
changes into another four carbon compound malate oxalo acetate changes into another four carbon compound malate the stop malate is transported to bundle heap cells malate is transported to bundle heap cells through plasmodesmata next point in bundle sheet malate breaks into pyruvate and co2 full stop co2 is received by CO2 is received by Rubisco, which is second CO2 receiver, and Calvin cycle goes on. stop next point pyruvate which is a three carbon compound is transported back into mesophyll cell where it is regenerated as pep full stop one last point the bundle sheet cell are <coughs> impermeable to o2 the bundle sheet cell are impermeable to o2 hence in c4 plant rubisco can never react with o2 full stop in c3 plant many time when oxygen concentration increases in c3 plant many time when oxygen concentration increases rubisco react with o2 full stop that's why the four plant are more efficient tell me if you have any single doubt in this complete concept of c3 cycle c4 cycle now i will tell you what is the photo photo respiration that is the last one i want to uh, from both of you martin as well as elam because this is very important topic we are going through with very important topic that's why i am asking again and again martin first you tell is everything clear c3 cycle yes sir yeah. okay elam is that clear if i ask you you will tell me if some day i ask you that tell me c4 cycle c3 cycle will you be able to 
Yes, sir. Very good. Excellent. So uh, the next thing is photo restoration. You know what is a photo restoration? When in presence of this is a, a bit complex cycle. Look, what is photo restoration? This is the loss. It takes place in only C3 plant. I uh, already half of the part I have already explained. What is that half of the plant? Rubisco, that is rubylase, biphosphate, carboxylase, oxygen. Right. What happened when oxygen? Uh, so normally, what happened? RUBP, this is RUBP, it take one carbon dioxide and it make two molecule of phosphoglycerate, 2 p right? It make 2 p right? Normally this happened. But in photorespiration, this RUBP react with oxygen and it do not make 2 p In presence of Rubisco, it uh, do the oxidation. Here it is a reduction, uh, sorry, carboxylation. But here, in, when the concentration of oxygen increases, what happened? RUBP react with, I, I told you that Rubisco react with both, uh, catalyze both of the reaction, carboxylation as well as oxidation. When oxygen concentration increases, right, then Rubisco, RUBP react with O2 and it make one mo molecule of PGA, this phosphoglycic acid, one PGA. But another molecule of PGA is not formed. Another molecule which is formed, that is the phosphoglycolate, right. This phosphoglycolate goes to C2 cycle, right. It goes to C2 cycle. Is that clear? Put the heading photo respiration. Quick. And wrote down this complete reaction. This is C3 cycle. And this is photo respiration is C2 cycle. Note down and let me know. Let me know when you note it down. Yes, sir. Done? Okay. So please note down the first the definition of photorespiration. Photorespiration is light dependent process of photorespiration is light dependent process of oxygenation of light dependent process of oxygenation of RUBP where release of <coughs> release of carbon dioxide underline this statement release of carbon dioxide takes place from 
photosynthetic organ of plant. Let's talk. In this process, decrease of in this process, decrease of rate of decrease of rate of photosynthesis takes place when concentration of when concentration of oxygen concentration of oxygen takes place takes place from 2 to 3 percent to 21 percent. The site for the site for photorespiration is chloroplast Paroxysome and mitochondria. So in C2 cycle or photorespiration, these three will take part, participate. Right. Now I will tell you what is the. Uh, you have noted down this above reaction already. Now I will tell you what is the C2 cycle or what is the photorespiration. In photorespiration, what happens? Look, this is C2 cycle. Take this screenshot and note down after the class. Right. So uh, this is the simplest thing. What happened? The Calvin cycle goes on, but the oxygen concentration increases. So formation of uh, this RUVP deploys 1,5 by phosphate. RUVP uh, uh, react with O2 and phosphation of phosphoglycolate takes place. The phosphoglycolate is two carbon compound and this is the first stable compound. So here the first stable compound is two carbon compound. That is phosphoglycolate. That's why we call it C2 cycle. Phosphoglycolate it transported to paroxysome. In paroxysome, it changes into glycolate. Then glycolate changes into glyoxylate. Glyoxylate changes into glycine. Glycine is a type of amino acid, right? From paroxysome, glycine is transported into mitochondria. In mitochondria, this glycine break down in the, it releases a carbon dioxide molecule and break down into serine glycine is break down into serine serine again come back to paroxysome where it changes into glycerate this glycerate is transported to where in uh, chloroplast where it again changes into 3 phosphoglyceric acid or 3 pha and then again it participates into calvin cycle this complete cycle is called c2 cycle the first stable compound is two carbon compound. That's why it is called C2 cycle. Tell me, is it clear or not? And what is photorespiration? By the way, this cycle will not be asked to you, but you you can be asked as a two marker question. What is photorespiration? You have to remember what is the photorespiration for your school exam. But the more frequently asked question that two marker question, what is photorespiration? And uh, three marker or two marker question, what is Granger anatomy? A five marker question means full mark question that is c3 cycle and c3 that is the most important part of this chapter tell me guys is it clear martin and ilam will you note it down after the class you have yes sir Great. martin all done Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the factor which uh, affect the photosynthesis. So basically, not limiting factors there or not. Right, law of limiting factor is already there. Means, uh, what is that? Look. First, let me tell me. Uh, let me tell you what is the limiting factor or what is the law of limiting. Uh, there is a reaction like uh, I am giving you class and you are taking the class, right? So uh, 
there are multiple factor which are which which uh, which help us to uh, organize this class like a teacher a student uh, we both are required for this class right and uh, we can take class any long which uh, we want but there are some factor which uh, which which limit this class what is that factor internet connectivity if internet connectivity will be poor then the quality of class and duration of class will reduce electricity it should be there at both of them this is the factor which is responsible for class right your and my laptop that should be the good one this is so there are multiple factors which define this class now which factor will limit the class the factor which is present in the least amount suppose that i have only 20% battery in my laptop so that 20% battery that will define the duration of the class because after 20% battery consume we won't take class right we won't be able to organize the class right so now the limiting factor is battery this time battery next time what happened battery is okay but your internet connectivity is not working so what is the limiting factor which is present in the least amount your internet is present only for the 30 minutes now the your internet factor become the limiting factor right that limit the duration of the class and uh, quality of class your laptop your electricity my electricity so there are multiple the factor which is present in the least amount that define or that limit the reaction that limit the this is called law of limiting factor and this was given by black got it got it or not tell me both of you elam and martin is that okay or not sorry sir did you got what is the law of limiting factor or not yes sir so please put heading law of limiting factor uh one more thing uh this is the light light is a factor this is the rate of photosynthesis this is light when you increase the light intensity up to certain level up to certain limit the rate of photosynthesis increases but after a particular limit after a particular limit the whatever the light intensity you increase the rate of photosynthesis will not right the same with the carbon dioxide concentration increase the carbon dioxide concentration from 0.03% to 0.05% the rate of photosynthesis will increase but after a particular limit by up to 0.05% the photosynthesis rate will not increase right so that is the limiting please note a limiting factor is defined a limiting factor is defined as a factor which is deficient a factor which is deficient to such an extent the factor which is deficient deficient to such an extent that increase in increase in its magnitude that increase in its magnitude increases directly the rate of process increases directly the rate of process full stop the effect of limiting factor was studied by blackman was studied by blackman in 1905 let's stop he formulated the principle of limiting factor right last but not the least that is the uh, 
factor which affect the photosynthesis right the factors which affect the photosynthesis so there are look first factor is light you can make the graph it will increase light right the rate of the photosynthesis will increase but after a particular stage this rate will not increase right second factor is carbon dioxide concentration from 0.03 to 0.05 percent increasing the carbon dioxide concentration the rate of photosynthesis will increase but beyond this the rate of photosynthesis will not increase, right and next that will be the water it will increase the temperature photosynthesis will increase but after particular limit it won't water if you increase the water amount photosynthesis will not increase but if you will decrease the water amount the photosynthesis rate of photosynthesis will decrease right so these are the factor which affect the photosynthesis factors are also important right so this was all about the photosynthesis chapter right go through with this one and let me know if you have any doubt regarding the photosynthesis anywhere in the chapter go through with your ncrt right and tell me if you have any problem martin and elam for both of you we have completed this chapter next chapter which in next class we'll start means day after uh, tomorrow uh, we'll start with the uh, respiration part right respiration of the plant and after the respiration then i will come back right after the respiration i will come back to transportation then mineral of uh, mineral nutrition and then the last chapter will cover the last chapter because you have requested to start with the photosynthesis that's why i started with cells we might have started with the the first chapter of the plant physiology that is transport that is also very important So? Yeah. Yes, Elam. Uh, we have to write something. Here, if you want, you can. Uh, there is already in there your NCERT. If you want, you can. Okay, sir. So have you gone through with your NCERT? Are you going through with it? Martin and Ilham? Yes, sir. Are you going through with your NCERT? Yes, sir. Yeah, please. 